Hello, my YouTube family. Yes, I'm home, people. It is 5.42, and oh, yeah, it's me. Bet you never thought you'd see my hair like this again. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Let me do the roundabouts. There we go. Do you see it? Because I can't see it. I hope you see it. Done. Relaxed. Trimmed at the ends. Colored. Hope you saw that. That was Saturday's little tryst. In the rain, by the way, but you know when you have just about had it and you can't take your hair or anything that you know that you need to do and it finally gets done. I said rain, sleet, hail, snow, I don't care. I need to get uh, the hair like done. I was tired of the grays like tired of the grays. I can take the grays because, you know, I'm of a certain age. I know the grays are going to come no matter what. But, you know, I like to color my hair. I like to rinse. It's really a rinse. And I just about had it. So Friday when I was talking to you guys, I had already put in my mind that I was going to go. But I didn't want to say that I was going to go in case something happened and then I would have not gone. So, surprise. Okay, so here we are. So, that takes care of the hair. The hair is done. There was a co-worker at work. Um, scared the bejesus out of me. She was standing in front of my desk to the side, but she was talking to somebody else in front of her. And she said, um, do we know who the receptionist's replacement is going to be? And I was like, excuse you? And she's like, oh, I'm sorry, who are you? <laughs> I said, oh, okay. Oh, you got jokes. Okay. She said, Nancy, your hair looks just so fantastic. I didn't recognize you. I said, mm -hmm. I said, please don't, please don't give me a heart attack. I am a woman of a certain age. I cannot take the, and then she started to crack up. I said, I can't take, I can't take you, you know, she goes, yeah, you're right. In this day and age, we can't joke about jobs. I said, that's damn straight. Damn, damn skippy. Damn skippy. I must have given her a look like, what are, you talking? what are you talking about? So, there you go. Had had to get it done. All right. So, that is hair. And now let us move on to lips of the day. You know when you buy something and then you just say, okay, I'm just going to put it aside. And, and, you know, when I'm ready to wear it, I'll wear it. This had been aside for like a month or two or three. Let me start off with the liner, which has not been put aside. I wear this one rather often. It is MAC Night Moth. Oops, Night Moth, here it is. A uh, line, and filled. Put it aside and I completely, utterly forgot. NYX Strictly Vinyl Lip Gloss. I'm blaming this on Andrea Renee because it was because of her that I bought it. And baby, well, this is baby doll. This is NYX Strictly Vinyl Gloss. And this is in the shade Baby Doll. This is Baby Doll, right? And then there was another one. Yeah, this is Baby Doll. And then there was another one that I wore earlier. Her fault. This is Baby Doll. It's like of a dark mauve. It's a mixture of a plum and a brown. So that is it right there. That is it right there. The match between this and the, the lip liner Night Moth, marriage made in heaven. I love the way it looks. Love the way it looks. And these strictly vinyl lip glosses, they better not go anywhere because these right here stick to your lips. They do not budge. They start to fade. I'm going to say just start to fade. After about three and a half, four hours. I kid you not. They're thick. So it adheres to your lips. It's just 
I love this formula. I love these lip glosses. I just wish they had more shades because, you know, come on, NYX. Come on now. With this formula, yeah, you, you guys can stretch it out just a little bit. With this, I think they only have about seven or eight shades. Y'all can stretch it out. Come on. So that is NYX Strictly Vinyl. It's called Strictly Vinyl Lip Gloss. Yeah, Strictly Vinyl Lip Gloss. The Ish. Lined with Night Moth. Oh. So that is Lips of the Day. This is the look of the day. I know I can't really discuss the whole thing because I don't know who watched and who didn't watch. I'm just going to say it. Game of Thrones. I thought last week had my heart all aflutter. What is he doing? He really thinks he's going to get that bird. He's behind glass. He can't. In any event, Game of Thrones. Let me just say this. Jamie hurt my heart. Um, Jamie hurt my heart. Tyrion scared the bejesus out of me because I said, oh, they better no." Scared the bejesus out of me. He scared the bejesus out of me. Cersei. I can't say anymore. There's so much I want to say. I can't say anymore because I don't know who saw it yet and who didn't see it. it you know. So I don't want to be a spoiler. I don't like to spoil things for other people. I don't like them to be spoiled for me. So, Jamie, Cersei, Daenerys, is that her name, Daenerys? She's another one who broke my heart. She sort of, not her per se, that's all I'm going to say, broke my heart. Okay, so I guess that's, that's the conversation for Game of Thrones. Vague though it is, but those of you who do watch, I think you know where I'm coming from. I think you know what I'm talking about. Do not spoil it for anybody on the bottom. Let's be kind Let's not spoil it for anybody. Because you there's no there there are a number of assholes already out on Facebook. Thank goodness I have already seen it. But I really feel for those who haven't seen it yet and they just want to be surprised without reading it first. So yeah. Last night's episode. If if last week's episode had me hyperventilating, because it really did, even though it was, you could hardly see. Last night's episode didn't have me hyperventilating so much as had my emotions go like this, basically. Okay, so I guess that's the Game of Thrones talk because I have to kind of go around things without having to say much. And I think we have, what, two more episodes left? I can't. I can't I can't say goodbye to this show. I cannot. So that that's really it. Okay. I need to um talk to you about something, which really, it, 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 nothing to do with you guys, but is really just me. Okay. You know how I like to buy things. <laughs> Who doesn't know that by now? 
Um, and it is the spring going into summer weather. However, well, let me just let me just put the question to you. Do you find yourself when you have that itch to want to buy something? Thankfully, I don't have that itch, but on Fridays I do because I get paid on Fridays. Do you immediately go to the cosmetics or do you go to clothes? Because now I'm like this. I'm like, do I have, I, I don't even have to ask myself, do I have enough cosmetics? Seriously, Nancy? But I find myself wanting to buy a blouse, a pair of jeans, maybe some sandals. I find myself gearing toward the clothes section. But at the same time, like I could put a blouse in my Amazon cart, not ready, not really ready to check out, just kind of, you know, playing around. And then I look at it and I'm going, yeah, but it would look so nice with a lip gloss or something. Do I buy both? Or because I can't just put one thing in my cart. It's got to, it's got to be a multitude of things, but it can't be, you know, crazy priced. And clothes, I think, are more expensive than cosmetics. But I can't just buy a lipstick. It's got to be a couple of lipsticks with a couple of lip glosses and maybe a highlighter or an eyeshadow. Or... So what does one do when you're, when you're caught between a rock and a hard place? Do you just say, oh, screw it, I'll just go all cosmetics this week? And then maybe next week I'll buy clothes or do you say I'll buy one piece of clothing and one lipstick just me saying that just doesn't even sound right one just one lipstick or whatever your fancy is or one blush or one eyeshadow or one mascara you know one or do you say, okay, I'll buy the blouse next week and I'll just do all cosmetics th this this week. I'll buy my blush, I'll buy my mascara, my uh, my eyeliner, my lip liner, my you know, whatever. Let's have fun with this game. Um, and I just like, it, it just now dawned on me what it is that you know, makes me go there. This lip gloss, for instance, I wore it this morning and I'm like, oh my God, I wish I had more of these. So immediately I'm thinking, oh, maybe if I order another one. Next. I have this one and a brown one, which I had already done a lip look on and now I forgot the name of it. This is Baby Doll. I thought the other one was Baby Doll. It's not Baby Doll. The other one is something. Also, uh, Andrea Renee's Fall. So, yeah. So talk to me. When you get paid, do you, you know, after you've taken care of your responsibilities, bills have to be paid, people. Do you afterwards go all cosmetics crazy or all clothes crazy? Or can you actually half and half it with a blouse and a lipstick? Just sounds odd. I think the reason why I'm I'm putting that question out there is because of the whole Sephora VIB sale and I'm seeing all my, my entire, uh, you know, YouTube feed is nothing but VIB sale and my VIB haul and I cannot do that. Okay, just can't do it. So I want to be included in the cosmetics talk and I have purposely not really watched any of these videos because I don't want to get caught in the trap of... <gasps> I need that. I want that. I've got enough. I've got enough. I've got enough. But yet I'll always find something to buy on Amazon. A blouse, a lipstick, or a lip gloss, something. But with Sephora, it's different because they're too, just, just too pricey. Too damn pricey. You know, 
They got the whole Marc Jacobs thing and the whole too pricey. A hundred and something. I can't afford one item to be a hundred and something. Okay, it's just not going to happen. If I'm going to fork out a hundred dollars, I better have an abundance. A big old box waiting for me at the porch when I come home. It better not just be a box. With one thing in it. No. So let's have a discussion, shall we? And if you want to throw in a couple of Game of Thrones uh, verbiage in there without spoiling it for anybody, let's do that as well. Okay, people, I'm done. I'm out. I've got to go. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about my hair. And I will talk to you. <laughs> I will talk to you tomorrow. Okay? I love you. One down, four more to go. I love you. Mwah. Bye now.